Hey everyone, it's Rachel. As you may already know, I have been entirely self-taught through the help of the internet throughout my three years playing guitar. I get asked frequently how I was able to do this and how others can do it as well. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my thoughts on what the most important things are to keep in mind when trying to teach yourself guitar. I think most of these tips will still apply even if you are taking guitar lessons, which is a perfectly good option as well, so stick around. The first thing I think you need to keep in mind if you're trying to teach yourself guitar is that even if you aren't going for in-person lessons, you can't do it all alone. One of the most important things you can do is seek out great online resources and learn a lot from them. There are just so many awesome teachers online that all have different thoughts and opinions and teach things in different ways, and you can take a little bit from each and every one of them and incorporate that into your playing. While it's definitely a great idea to seek out teachers yourself and find ones that work really well with your personal learning style, I will start you out with some of the teachers on YouTube that have helped me a lot. I'll have links to all the teachers I mentioned in the video description below if you'd like to go check them out for yourself. When I was starting out, the first online teacher I learned from was Justin Guitar. He has an awesome beginner's course that gets you familiar with the guitar and making chord changes and just chords in general, and it's definitely a good place to start just to get familiar with the basics. I personally went through his beginner's course, but he has a lot of more advanced resources as well across both his website and YouTube channel, so you should definitely go check him out if you're looking for a great place to start. Another channel I absolutely need to mention is Guitar Lessons 365. Whenever I'm trying to learn a new song, I usually do it by a combination of watching videos of the artist playing it, lesson videos, and by ear. Whenever I'm looking for a song lesson video, the first place I go is to Guitar Lessons 365 to see if he has a lesson video on that song. And more often than not, he does. He has so many great lesson videos across all different genres, so I definitely recommend going to check out both his song lesson and theory and technique channels. They are just really awesome resources. One more great teacher that I picked up a lot of my technique from is Ben Eller. Pretty early on, I watched his videos talking about picking techniques, power chords, muting, and a lot more, and they all really helped me solidify those techniques. He also makes other videos on songs and theory and just lots of great resources, so definitely go check him out if you haven't yet. Those are just three of the awesome online teachers I've learned from in my past three years, but there are a lot more and I may link a couple more in the description as well. Feel free to share with the community your favorite teachers in the comments as well. A second thing I think you should really keep in mind when learning guitar and becoming a self-taught guitarist is the importance of consistent practice. If you are taking lessons, you might have a more specific schedule where you know you have to practice something by a certain date and you need to be ready for that lesson. But if you are doing it on your own, you need to be more self-directed with your practice and make sure that you are keeping it consistent. If you can find the time to fit in even just a little bit of practice almost every single day, I find that it really helps to keep your muscle memory fresh and to make quicker progress overall. For me personally, I've found that it is better to practice for a little bit every day compared to practicing for a longer amount of time for one or two days a week. Of course, any practice is good practice. It is totally okay if you can't fit in practice every day, if you have a schedule that doesn't allow it, it is okay. You'll still make progress and you'll still have fun with it. But if you can, it's definitely a good idea to keep your practice consistent. A third thing I think is really important to keep in mind when you are self-directing your guitar learning is to figure out what motivates you to play the guitar and practice to that. Keeping yourself motivated is huge when you're trying to learn guitar and to do that, you'll have to really enjoy what you're doing. For me, that has meant that most of my learning and most of the skills I've picked up have come through trying to learn songs that I love. I do do some exercises, but pretty much everything I've learned has come through learning songs. For you, this might be similar. It might be that you're really motivated to learn songs and improve that way, but it also might be that you are excited about writing songs and you want to spend most of your time on that, or improvising, or really anything. Whatever motivates you, you should practice that. It can definitely be a good idea to spend some time working on things that are a little bit less exciting to you, like scales or exercises or whatever that might be for you, but I think overall you should keep the core of your practice things that you are really excited about and that will make your practice sessions much more productive and enjoyable overall. Now a fourth thing I think you should keep in mind and something that I personally do a lot is to spend some time learning directly from your favorite artists. In addition to all the great online teachers, there are also tons of videos of all of your favorite bands and guitarists playing their songs. Almost always when I'm learning a song, I will also spend some time looking at live videos of the guitarist playing that song. It is super helpful because you can see how they're actually playing it, 
where they are on the neck, what sorts of techniques they might be using, and you can directly apply that to your own playing. Along with this, one thing I always do is I practice along to the actual song. Doing this really helps you get the rhythm and pick up any nuances the original artist put into the song, and it just is a great way to learn. Whenever I learn a song, I start out by slowing the song down a lot and really trying to listen to everything that's going on, and I slowly speed it up as I get more comfortable playing the song. So definitely go check out some live videos of your favorite guitarist and see how they do it. A fifth thing I think is really helpful, especially if you're a self-taught guitarist, is to make sure to record yourself playing. As you know, I've been recording myself since the very beginning, and I think that is one of the major things that has helped me get where I am today. If you don't have an in-person instructor, you might not have someone who is often looking at how you're playing guitar, but if you record yourself, you can actually look at it yourself. While this might not be quite as useful as having someone else who's more experienced watch you playing, you can definitely pick up on different things that you missed when you were playing it live, and it can be really helpful. If you want to, you can also share these videos with other people online and get some feedback there. Another great thing about recording yourself is it can really help with motivation. If you're recording yourself and thinking about sharing it with other people, you might spend more time working on those tricky parts of the songs that you kind of just brushed over because you want other people to see it as well. And also just looking back at your old clips for you playing compared to where you are now can be really motivational because you can see just how much you've learned over the course of your playing. So I definitely recommend trying to record yourself periodically. It has been super helpful for me and my playing. The sixth thing that I think can be really helpful when learning guitar on your own is to try to find a community of people who will encourage you with your guitar playing. It's really cool and can be really motivating to be able to share things you're excited about and things you've learned with others. So I think this is a great thing to keep in mind, especially if you're not going to a one-on-one -on -one lesson setting where the teacher can be the encouraging factor, you kind of have to seek out this on your own. And this can be a group of people online, it can be your friends or family, really just anyone who has a positive encouraging attitude who will help you stay motivated with what you're doing. The community we've built so far here on this YouTube channel has been awesome. It's been so cool being able to meet so many nice people and share the learning process with all of you. I hope this channel can serve as an encouraging community for all of you out there as well, where we can come together and talk about the things we're working on, the things we're excited about, and just share in our love of music. And the last thing I want to mention here that every guitarist should keep in mind, no matter what skill level, is to remember to have fun with what you're doing. In day-to-day -day practice, it can be sometimes easy to overlook the real reason you're playing and just focus on things that are going wrong or things that you feel like you should be doing better, but if you keep in mind that you should always be having fun with it and having a great time with your practice, that will serve you a lot better long term and just make it overall a really fun experience. Learning guitar and music in general is such a fun thing to be able to do and you should try to keep that in mind when you are practicing guitar. So those are my main pieces of advice for anyone who is looking to become a self-taught guitarist or just learn guitar in general. If you are able to and think you might learn better that way, it can be definitely a good idea to get some in-person lessons, but it is totally possible, especially with the amount of resources online today, to learn guitar on your own. But really, even if you are self-taught and directing your own learning, that doesn't mean you're learning alone. You'll just be learning from many different artists and teachers across the globe with many different perspectives and ways of playing, and it can be a great way of learning. And even if you are taking in-person lessons, you still need to be largely self-directed in a lot of ways since your teacher won't be with you all the time, presumably. And hopefully these tips were useful for you as well. If you have any other tips I didn't mention that you'd like to give to other guitarists who are learning, feel free to leave those in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.